Here's a street performer that comes and plays every single night until 11 p.m. Oh, and he fing sucks. Hey everybody, so there's something that I've been wanting to talk about, and what that thing is, is Instagram dogs. When Instagram started in 2010, shortly after, the canine celebrity became a thing. Because let's face it, dogs are the best and everyone loves dogs, even people like me who are allergic to them. As for cat people, eh, don't know how much we can really trust them. At first, dogs on Instagram was just about taking silly pictures of your dog and a way to share them with the world. But now, whether you agree or not, it's become a full-on business. With the most popular Instagram dog accounts ranging anywhere from tens of thousands of followers to well over a million. They even get deals and sponsorships and become celebrity endorsers, as well as being paid to make appearances. They even schedule meetups and there are people who travel quite a distance just to meet up with their favorite pup. This is great because the fans benefit and the owners of the dogs also benefit, but I do think the owners benefit a bit more. However, the thing is dogs tend to live a much shorter lives than us humans, which means for most of us, we'll be able to see a dog's growth from a puppy to an elder, and then unfortunately, when it passes on, which I must say is quite sad. However, it's also a bit interesting to see the outpouring of emotions from the fans of a dog. And what happens after the dog dies? There won't be any new pictures of them, obviously, so do you unfollow them and move on to a new dog, or do you just follow them forever? And how about for the owners? Your precious pup is gone, and so is your business. Do you continue posting recycled pictures? Do you close the account, or do you just leave it up and inactive forever? Or do you get a new dog and transform the account into a new one? These are some of the questions that I have regarding this interesting era that is a big part of the internet age that we live in today. I say all of this because I follow a myriad of Instagram dogs and I love getting daily doses of silly cuteness and humor. But while the life of the dog is fun, for those of us who follow closely, the passing of these doggos can be quite depressing. And it also makes me wonder and worry about all of these young kids on Instagram who are following these dogs that truly have so much love for them. And I really feel bad for them. And I also bring all of this up because three of the dogs that I follow on Instagram have passed within the year. And two of those dogs passed away just a few days ago within a day or so apart. And it's f***ing sad as shit, really. But I just want to make it clear that for the majority of these owners of these dogs, they're not just starting these accounts and loving their dogs just because they want money or fame. Yes, there are some of those people out there, but for most of them, they truly love their dogs and they just love posting pictures of them and sharing them with the world. And so for those who have Instagram dogs and genuinely care about their pups and have also had them pass on, I'd like to say I'm sorry for the loss of your best friend. So that's just something that I wanted to talk about, get off my chest, and put out there to ask you guys what your thoughts are on the subject. And in closing, I'd like to say rest in peace to Dr. Grandpa, Speedy Boy Boy, and Billy Danzing. You will all be missed. Christina came home for a bit and we went to get some ices. Christina got some Panda Express noodles and beef broccoli. Also, I would like to say that Miss Fields, you guys are totally ripping people off. You guys have these icy cups right here, but the thing that's inside of it is not icy. It's just some other form of knockoff slushy. And the machine isn't even an actual icy machine, so I don't even know why you guys have the cups. But anyway, she's just home. But anyway, she's just home for a bit in between classes and right now she's going to go back to school where she belongs. <laughs> hey guys, so tonight we ended up watching All the Good Things, which is the movie version of the story of Robert Durst. It was okay. Ryan Gosling was mm, alright. Not really a believable Robert Durst. I would recommend you watch the Jinx instead of this movie. Also, I spent like 20 f***ing minutes looking for the memory card for this camera. I was looking all over here on the couch, in the cushions, in this blanket, all around my computer, all on the ground, and you know where it was? Right f***ing here, in this pocket. In this goddamn pocket. So annoying. But yeah, I think that's 
that's it for tonight. I had some shave ice. Christina made some cookies again. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember to remember to do things. Good night. Aren't the machines? It's not the machines. I, it's obviously not the machines, but it even has. They went so far as to put the logo on the machine. Whatever. Here, Jamie.